Hey guys, um, this is a tutorial on how to um, do drum replacement in Pro Tools. Um, I'm going to call it drum replacement and drum, in drum enhancement because it's pretty much two different things. Um, for this we're going to be doing drum enhancement. Basically what we've got here is um, a kick drum, left overhead and right overhead. There isn't actually a specific snare track here for this drum kit. Um, so if we were to place um, sample snares over the overhead um, tracks, which is where the the snares being picked up, it would actually cut off um, the decay of the cymbals, so it wouldn't sound too good. So basically, we're going to enhance it by adding uh, another track in um, with samples. So this is the track here, which we're going to be using for our sample track. This one, um, we've already got a few samples in here. I'm basically going to show you this the technique for putting them in and getting them lined up <coughs> with the original audio track. Now, first thing you need to do is we need to get a sample. So we'd say we just imported this sample here. Um, two things you've got to make sure you've got. You've got to have the A to Z turned on so we can do some short uh, keyboard shortcuts. And you've also got to have the tab to transient button turned on up here, which allows us to tab to the transient beats of, say, all the snare drums. Now, what we want to do, once we've found our sample that we want, we just want to highlight it, press C, which will copy it. We then need to click up onto the overhead track and we need to tab. And this will tab to the transient beats, i.e., the, the big peaks in the waveform there. And we're going to tab across, and I know these first two here are two snare hits, so I'm going to tab across, so that's the first one. Then I'm then going to press the colon button to jump down a track, and the V button to paste. And it's pretty much as simple as that. We then go back up to the top track again, we tab again, and tab to the next one, there you go. Colon to go down, and V to paste. The reason we do it this way with the colon and, and, the, and the tabbing is if you were to say tab across to a track like that, it's very difficult to actually bring down and, and click exactly in the right timeline because you'll always be a little bit out. So basically, the re reason we do this, we tab across and colon down, is um, it keeps the timeline exactly the same. Um, so that's one way of doing it. Um, let's have a quick listen here. We've got a few I've placed in. Uh, have a listen to these ones. Let's see what you think. There's obviously a clear difference there between the ones with the snare hits and the snare hits afterwards from the original. It's definitely a lot beefier. So you hear how it really sort of fills it out. Um, that's one method. That's the audio sample method of replacing things. The other method is a bit different. We use MIDI. Um, now I was just going to hide this track, so get it out of the way. Um, let's just turn on our MIDI track here. So when I set up. Very similar method, really exactly the same, but just with MIDI notes. Um, Pro Tools comes with Expand, which has some great sort of drum samples, but you can use uh, BFD or uh, Easy Drummer. There's quite a few different options out there from different companies. Um, now, what I suggest, the first thing you do is you just click the pencil tool and you draw a note, just like that. Then br drag that note back, just to make it, it doesn't have to be long, you know, just a, about that sort of size, little square. Now, what we can do with these notes is we can copy it, again using the C key, or if, or if it's the first note, cut it with the X key. Um, we can then go down to our uh, normal track, we can see where the snares are, so we tap the transient to tab onto the snare. In this case I'm going to press P rather than colon to go up a track rather than down a track, so we press P to go up, and there we have the one that's already there pasted. So then to do it again, we just go down here, we tab across to where our next snare is, say here, P to go up and V to paste and you carry on that throughout the whole track. Um, the great thing is about using MIDI you can change the velocity so you can change the volume of individual beats um, if you want the chorus maybe to be a bit more hard hitting the snare can can have that effect on it um, and the other cool thing about it is you can change up the snare even after you've done all the replacement you can change the sound or make it a bit tighter make it a bit looser depending on the sort of sound you're striving for. Um, I hope that really helps you guys out um, let me know how you get on with it. I'll be posting up some new videos soon uh, with just sort of general techniques on Pro Tools editing, um, some stuff on mixing, mastering, that kind of thing. So um, stay tuned to the blog. Feel free to subscribe um, and I'll post you an email when any new videos are out. Um, thank you very much for watching. See ya.